Bye, everybody. What happens tomorrow? Today is going to be a day at home vlog, of course. And today, Larry and I are getting ready to film the Whisper Challenge video, which I'm really excited to do. I think it's going to be hilarious. And then, which is an older video, um, but you guys have been asking for it, so we're going to film it. And you guys have also been asking for me to do my makeup or do more makeup videos. So I figured, since I'm getting ready, instead of just throwing the makeup on and filming a video and then coming and introducing the vlog for today, I figured I would do my makeup with you guys with my morning coffee that's almost empty and cold now because I hopped in the shower. I didn't wash my hair because I washed it two days ago. I've just got dry shampoo in. Um, I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. So I washed my body, washed my face, did my skincare. Now we're gonna apply makeup. Guys, today is currently, what day is it? Tuesday, March 31st, and I was supposed to upload a video this morning at 9 a.m., and the internet is going so terribly slow. The video has been uploading for two hours, and it's at 15% uploaded. So obviously, if you guys know from Tuesday's video, that it was very late, and this is why. And then the day before, I didn't even upload a video because I was sick, so I'm on a roll. I was temporarily sick. Anyways, that's how my day's going, which kind of got me thinking about... <laughs> thoughts in the shower of with everything that's going on and I don't want to harp on it but with everything that's going on I feel like the thing that's all holding us together or keeping us entertained at home is TV YouTube streaming internet connections games that we're playing online could you honestly imagine and I know there's a whole generation that doesn't even care about the internet and all that stuff um, but they still watch TV and then, you know, we can all do without it. But with everything that's going on right now and being stuck in our homes, could you imagine all of us losing the <sighs> privilege of losing internet and not having it? What we would do, which got me thinking in the shower. Okay, maybe I should talk about this because if it happens, everybody's going to panic and nobody wants that. Let's start our makeup too. I'm going in with the Too Faced Natural Nudes palette and I'm going to use the shade sparkling sand i always just put one little basic shimmer right on my eyelids and what's really simple is i just use my fingertip so we're gonna go in with sparkling sand did they take the fan outside babe they sure did i don't want sparkling sand i changed my mind we're going in with rose gold it's more of a rosy all right we're just gonna pop that on the lid which got me thinking if we lost the internet i wouldn't be uploading youtube videos anymore uh, which would mean, what would Larry and I do at home if we had no TV shows to watch, nothing, nothing, now there is way worse in the world than losing internet and everything else, but I'm trying to help you guys, give you guys ideas if it does happen, I'm not saying it is, but if it does happen, what would we do? So, <sighs> I would do puzzles. We have lots of puzzles in the house. That would keep us entertained. I would also maybe form a structured schedule. Like I'll wake up, have my morning coffee, work out at the house, get outside time if you can, read books, because guess what? I don't think we would be listening to auto, audible books. So if you have books at home, start reading. Board games card games lots of cards it would kind of go back to the way it really was when i was actually growing up and internet wasn't such a big thing um what would you guys do at home let me know in the comments below if the internet went out with everything that's going on and we can't really go where go anywhere what would you guys do at home what would you do to pass the time next i'm gonna go in with petal i'm just gonna dip in with a little brush and then just take it right into the crease i'm literally using my phone or my viewfinder as a mirror and that is a huge mistake it is a big mistake oh we have a mirror here <laughs> anyway so anyways that was my um morning thoughts in the shower this morning which was grand so with my eyeshadow i'm not very precise with it i just kind of like drag it in the crease circular motions i go up a little high almost to my eyebrow and then I kind of like bring it outward. And we're gonna do the same thing. 
Anyways, I think it's gonna be really funny to film this whisper challenge with Larry. <laughs> it's gonna be funny! Cause honestly guys, I can't hear half the time anyways. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> What'd you say? Which drives Larry nuts! <laughs> and I know it too. You know, sometimes I'll hear part of what he says and then most of what he says and I'm like, what? Why am I asking what if I heard what he said? It's so funny. All right, and I'm just gonna go in with another blur brush and just kind of like blend all of that further. Again, not precise, we're not caring, it is what it is. Next, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have used this concealer for the last five years, forever, since it's, I don't know, forever. And I am in the shade Light Sand. I used to use the shade light, but I think it was a little too light, whereas this has like more of a yellowy undertone. So what I do, I'm gonna come a little closer. Wow, look how discolored. Um, you get this little thingy, and I just kinda like pop it right under my eyes, right under my eyes. I really don't go crazy with this stuff. I just use a little bit. Grab my damp sponge, I like using a sponge. And we're gonna blend it out and we're gonna drag it down to the areas that we need it, which for my case are around my chin and cheek area. So, yeah, I'm really interested to see what you guys would do at home. And please don't take that conversation the wrong way. Cause I know like we can survive without the internet and I want you guys to know we can survive without the internet. I'm not saying it's happening. I'm just saying like, what if it did happen? What would we do? Because right now I think everybody is watching and streaming internet. And I take it in my nose crease. I get a lot of redness right here, which is actually a lot, like it's very common with women to get it right there because of hormones, I think. So I'm gonna dabby, dabby. See, I just kind of like take the excess around my eye area and then I just kind of like drag it down. It's almost like using it as your foundation because I don't use foundation like liquid foundation it cakes on me no matter what I use I, I just feel like it's too heavy and I can feel it and I hate having like tacky I like a very powdery finish I like it to be smooth or I can't feel it at all I don't like tacky and this too by the way if you do your eyeshadow first which a lot of times I don't but a lot of times I do because if you do and you drag that eyeshadow out and then you use your concealer to like do an upward blend, you're gonna give yourself that cat eye flick with your eyeshadow without doing eyeliner because I don't usually use eyeliner. Burns me eyeballs now. Never used to. I used to wear, God, I'm talking a lot. I used to wear, um, in middle school and high school, I used to wear the black eyeliner underneath and on top and the mascara and like nothing else. And maybe just like a sheer powder over my face. That's how I used to wear makeup back in the day. How about you guys? <laughs> All right, next I'm going in with the translucent Fit Me pressed powder and I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes before I go in with my powder foundation. And that is because I feel like when I go in with my powder foundation and go in circular motions, I'm just rubbing this around because it's still damp. And I like to set it first with powder. And then it's kind of like me, 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 me. Not precise. Okay, now going in with my It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation in the shade Light. All right, so I go in with a big fluffy brush. This is from Walmart. It's a Royal and Lang Nickel brush. And I kind of just go in and blah, blah, you know, apply. And in the places where I have, like if you guys have acne, dark spots, rosacea, those kind of skin issues that you want to conceal, instead of rubbing and buffing circular motions, take your brush, dab, dab, and then dab. Like you'll get more coverage if you stipple or dab the brush around instead of rubbing it around. So in this area where I have all those dark spots and acne scars, I just dab. And everywhere else, <gasps> why did I cover my eyelid? <sighs> I have eyeshadow on. <laughs> Mistake. It's all right, we'll survive. There's much worse things than covering our eyelid. And then we're gonna drag it down. I wasn't going to apply 
let me turn this down. It's really bright. Oh, that's really dark. There we go. Okay, I wasn't going to apply a bronzer just because for some reason I'm kind of getting out of a bronzer phase, but I feel like we need it. But then again, maybe we don't. I'm just going in with the blush and I'm using the Milani Luminoso 05 Baked Powder Blush. It has a little bit of a shimmer, so if you're not into shimmy, shimmy, shimmy blushes, shimmery blushes, you won't be into it. But it's a very peachy, corally, perfect summer, spring blush. Very pigmented, by the way. So we're just going to smile and brush her on. Yeah, very shimmery. You almost don't even need a highlight with that. I mean, you don't. You don't need a highlight. <laughs> You've got it. I don't know if it's showing up very well on camera. <gasps> she is showing up. We don't need to apply any more. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> All right. The best highlight is Benefit Cookie Highlight. We're gonna take that, my battery's dying, how convenient. We're gonna take that and pop it right on the nose, like so. And we're also gonna take our pinky finger, rub it right in, and then dab this in the inner corners. Just to give you that wide-eyed look. Next, we're gonna do our brows. And I'm using the benefit. Oh, we're not a focus. Using the benefit. Using the benefit spoolie. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows right up, straight up. Brush up, 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 and out. And then we are gonna go in with this product. And this is the benefit Cabrow. I'm gonna take it. I did not know you could do this. I did not know for quite a while. But the little brush goes right in here. Hello. And it's just basically a little dip pomade and you dip your little brush in, very pigmented yet again. And be very careful. And you're just gonna fill in the brows. And how I do it is I kind of shape the underneath. You see how pigmented that is? You do not have to do much. And you just trace it. And my brows are really out of whack right now. I'm sure a lot of yours are too because we're not going anywhere to get them done anymore. So just bear with me. And we're just gonna do our best to fill in these brows. All right, so once I fill them in, I just go back through and comb them up in the front and then kinda out. So that's brows done. Last thing we're gonna do is curl our eyelashes. I'm using the Revlon, I think it's a dramatic all right, eyelashes curled, and then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, and this is like my basic everyday makeup. Didn't go in with the bronzer today, not feeling it. I'm just not feeling the bronzer right now. And we're just gonna, I need a mirror. <laughs> you should not use your viewfinder. And we're gonna apply. My other favorite is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Oh Lord, it's the best but I'm out and all I have is the waterproof and I don't need to use that today, so. This is it, this is my everyday makeup. I don't know how long that took, 20 minutes, but that's because I'm filming. Usually this is done in 10 or less, maybe five. So quick glance, these are all the products that I use. Too Faced Natural Nudes, Tarte Shape Tape, Milani Baked Blush, Royal Lag Nickel, Spongy Fit Me, Translucent, it Cosmetic Celebration Foundation, Cookie by Benefit, and the Benefit Cabral, and that's what I used, plus all of these little brushes. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just apply my EOS lip balm, and it's the mint flavored one, it's my favorite. Now, I need to find those headphones so Larry and I can film that whisper challenge video. Larry's the only one that has those big over the ear headphones, so I need to find out where those are. Darling. Oh. He's not in the garage. Where is he? Maybe he's outside. He's probably talking to the neighbors. It's funny. You see a neighbor outside, you get really excited. <laughs> oh, baby, it's okay. What's the matter? Come on. Come inside. It's okay. Good girl. Oh, he's rubbing out his car. 
Very windy in Florida today. Hi, babe. Eat that wasp is huge. <laughs> I've just tossed my hair up because I just I can't take it down today. So I've got it in a little ponytail and I have decided we are gonna clean off the kitchen table so that we can start a puzzle because I need a puzzle in our lives. <laughs> we need a puzzle! Now, I would like to know how everybody is doing. Let me know. Why does this lighting look weird? But anyways, let me know how you guys are doing. I really hope you're doing well. I um, haven't really talked much about what is going on because I want this to be a place where we can all kind of go and escape. So, I don't know. Some days I think about it more and then some days I try not to. And today is just one of those days where I'm very aware of what's going on around us in the world and it's just a scary thing. It really is a scary thing. This isn't just affecting the United States. This isn't just affecting China. This isn't just affecting Europe. This is affecting the world as a whole. And yeah, it's just a really scary thing that's going on. And it's something that none of us have ever dealt with or experienced before. So Anyways, I just wanted to say today is a day that I am struggling a little bit and I just want to come on here and talk to you guys and be with you and uh, we need to clear off this table because I need puzzle time because that's what's going to kind of get my mind thinking about something else because the realization of the internet is also not working or stressing me out too. So anyways, that's not even a big deal though. While I'm at it though, we might as well put the dishes away and do some of the dishes and get the kitchen cleaned up as well. That way we can just get everything cleaned up in here so we can have fun and start a puzzle. So let's begin that. This is dirty. scan the house for any more dishes that might be lingering which is always possible because I take my coffee cups everywhere all right we have a plate and a coffee cup oh god disaster waiting to happen let's take this in I just want you guys to know that I love you and we're gonna get through this <laughs> we're gonna get through whatever this is we'll make it out Okay, got a cup and another cup. Another cup. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped the camera. And I have a coffee cup in my office. I can see it that I need to grab. And then we will have a full dishwasher and we'll be able to start this load. That is satisfying. Let's check on the video status. 37%, <laughs> two hours and 51 minutes remaining. It said two hours and 51 minutes at 8 a.m. Still says two hours and 51 minutes. Okay, we got all the remaining dishes. So let's continue to fill the dishwasher. Got our little dish thingy. And now let's put a little bit of vinegar in there. Okay, and start. Great. Success. Now, moving on to this spot. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about this spot. The paint cans are gone, but they're still stuck here, so I'm just going to put it places. I'm going to move some of the stuff out in the garage. Uh, I'm just going to start moving it because I want my counter spaces clear and open, and I'll feel better. So let's clear that out. Sweet 
babe's outside distressing too. He's um, out washing the cars. Also, it's really fun to see the neighbors outside. A lot of people are eating outside in Florida more in our neighborhood, so people will come out front and do gardening. And I mean, the benefits of this is I guess, well, I don't wanna go that far, but at least people are getting out and appreciating the small things like eating outside on their patio or freaking I, I don't know what I'm saying. Right now, the kitchen is clean. Look at that, all space is cleared off. I do need to sanitize this strip here. I just cleared it off. Um, so this is all clean. The little wet marks are just the bleach spots that are drying and then this side is all clean and wiped down now too. Feels so much better, oh my gosh. And the last thing I need to do is sanitize this table so we can get the puzzle started. Now, we need to measure the table because you guys voted about a week ago on Instagram Live for us to do the Game of Thrones puzzle. It is a 2,000 piece puzzle, which is the biggest puzzle we've ever done. Well, we haven't done it yet, but it's a big one. So I need to measure this table to see if we can even fit that puzzle on this table. So let's do that. All right. Puzzle. 59 inches. <laughs> Thinking in my head. By 42. Okay. 59 by 42. 59 by 42. Let's see what the dimensions of that puzzle are. We're coming for you, puzzle. Finally. The kitchen is like spotless. Wait, where did I put the puzzle? <gasps> where did I put it? I done lost my puzzle. Where did I put it? Oh, now this is a dilemma. See the dilemma, the dilemma is, where did I move the puzzle? Man. Shoot, maybe I put it in the bedroom. You know, I've decided I was gonna clean my vanity in this vlog. I've been wanting to do that in the last vlogs. I think what I'm gonna do one day, I'm gonna wake up and we're gonna clean the whole bedroom together and I'm just gonna make it into a full video. Like a clean the bedroom with me vlog because it's a freaking mess in here. Like, look at this. Can't even get the drawer shut all the way. This is a disaster. The vanity is a disaster. This is a disaster. All the medicine is left out. This is a disaster. Showing you guys how it is. All you extremely neat people right now probably just scream the highest pitched scream ever. Babe! Where on earth did we move the Game of Thrones puzzle? Uh, I'll just put it on the table. No. It was in your office. I know. Not in the guest bedroom? <laughs> no. Let me, oh, actually, I didn't look in the guest bedroom. I looked in our bedroom. How do we move in the guest bedroom and put it in the office? I can't believe it. <laughs> Both the puzzles I was going to do with Larry, I moved them, and I have no idea where. No, they're not in the guest bedroom either. Shoot, shoot, and shoot. Ugh. Oh. We'll be back once we find the puzzles. <laughs> found it say what you just said I know why you couldn't find it why is that put it away with all the other puzzles so it's where it should be where it belongs yeah, yeah. all right let's go do that puzzles 
There they are. I knew I put them together. I put them there, didn't I? Probably. I slid them in there. I remember that now. Funny, we remember it now. I did measurements on the table. Funny thing is, now I don't remember what the measurements was. Oh, I don't remember what they were. That is... Okay. There we go. Got it. Okay. You need the headphones? Yes. I do. Okay. All right, we got the puzzle. I like so what's the puzzle measurements? Um, by Buffalo Games. Buffalo Lucy. Uh, Lucy. I don't see measurements on here. Found the measurement spots: thirty-eight point five inches by twenty-six point five, and that will fit on our table. So we're good to go. Good. Good but we have to do the puzzle this way and it will take up the entire table pretty much. So <gasps> here we are. Before Larry and I get started on that puzzle though, we need to film the whisper challenge video. Then we will start on that puzzle. <sighs> Hold. Larry and I have just had lunch. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with potato chips, and Larry is having a ham and cheese with potato chips. And the video that I have been uploading since 8.45 this morning is at 0% processed, which means it is completely uploaded. Now it's doing the processing part. It is currently 1.45, so it has taken 8.45 to probably, well, 1.45 currently, to upload, that's insane. And a lot of people have been telling me that online school started today, so basically internet is overloaded, which kinda had me thinking about the conversation that I brought up with you guys earlier is, what would we do without the internet? How do you think the world would react if our internet went down completely? <sighs> that's what I'm saying, so, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's bizarre, so, it's, uh, <laughs> I hope this is the only day that it does this, but anyways, Larry's gonna finish up and then we're gonna start that puzzle. I'm so excited about it, ah, so excited. All right, I've just decided I want to light my sugared snoo snooker doodle, <laughs> sugared snooker doodle, uh, calendar, candle, what the heck? So I'm trying to find a lighter. It's in one of these darn drawers. What the heck's? Maybe it is in this one, babe. Never mind, I know where one is. I know where a lighter is. Lighters in here. Ha! Okay. Yee. All right. Here we go. Just reheated my coffee. So, Let's see this video. Is it done yet? No, it's still 95% processed. Holy crapage. <laughs> Crap it. It's been 95% processed for like eight minutes. Okay, well, we are gonna start on this puzzle while I wait for that darn thing to load. Okay. Let me get something to set the camera on. Do we need a knife, babe, to cut into that box? Uh, one right by your house there. Still 95%. Unbelievable. Here's the puzzle. There it is. And we need to actually do it this way. We can't do it. I was way. anticipating that. Yeah. These pieces are gonna be so teeny. This is the biggest puzzle we've ever done, isn't it? Most pieces. Have you ever done a puzzle this size in your lifetime? Maybe once. Did you regret your decision? Yeah, it was a very, very hard puzzle to do. See, I'm wondering if we're gonna regret this. <laughs> so this puzzle was gifted to us in the P.O. box by a lovely viewer, so thank you so much for gifting us this puzzle. We're really excited to put it together. And it says the perfect snap on the back of the box. The Harry Potter puzzle that we did during Vlogmas was really difficult. It wasn't the best. Um, cut like things weren't matching up correctly so this one looks like it's going to be an excellent one i'm really excited and here oh. we go 
Oh, little pieces. Oh, crap. Look at that. <laughs> oh, MG. I'm surprised it's not in a bag. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh, my God. This is going to be fun. Yay! Holy sugar snickle doodles! Sugar snickle doodles. Hold on, babe. We can't start the puzzle till. Oh, yes! Uh, finally! Far out, man! <laughs> Larry's so not amused. He's like, whatever. Whatever. Hey, it took a long. This has been a struggle, okay? You know? You know. I know. All right, I think we're going live. We're not going live, are we? No, <laughs> we're going live with the video or... I think it's up. It's freaking unlisted, man. <laughs> oh my God. Finally, yay, okay. Finally, fuzzy hail. Fuzzy wuzzy. All right. So. No notification. What's our game plan with this? Get all of the border pieces. All right, should we move over? So that we can do it this way. No, you sit there, I'll sit here sideways. And then when we get to the point where we're gonna start putting it together, I'll slide over. But right now we're just fishing. Let's go, shall we? All right, so uh, um, middles are going there, outsides are being pulled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody commented on the video, Corona Vlogmas lives on. That's right. Oh my God, that's funny. Did you finally get the notice? No. I'm gonna need some Ben Gay for this puzzle. <laughs> Didn't you think that was funny? It's on the sink, Nate. That's a good one. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. That's gonna be hours. It's gonna take us weeks. Weeks and weeks. And what weeks. I don't want to make the mistake of is putting an end piece in here and having to go through it again like we always do. We've done that with every single puzzle. But you know we will. Yeah. Probably be me. No, it'll probably be me. Very odd shaped. Yeah. This is gonna be oh man, I just realized how difficult. <laughs> everybody might be doing puzzles at home. Let us know if you guys have been doing puzzles at home. All right, I am gonna have us finish sorting these pieces and then I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Here's the update, we've got it sorted. So all middle pieces are in here and we've got the edges here. So now Larry and I are gonna put the perimeter of the puzzle together and pray we didn't goof and put a outside piece in the center. Because <laughs> that is not gonna be fun to go through all that again. So let's get started with the perimeter. Let the time lapse commence.
so this is what we've got so far. We have this whole side done. And then we missed a piece here. And we're missing a couple things here. We're also missing this connector up top. So Larry's going to go through the box because we think we're missing a few. And I'm going to try and put these together and see where we're at. So I've changed my shirt. <laughs> I had to put Ben Gay on because my neck was getting sore. And I got Ben Gay all over the inside of my t-shirt, right where my armpit is. And you guys know, if you get Ben Gay in the armpit, it's never a good thing. So I've changed into a sweater. I think we have messed up on the puzzle just a smidge. It's throwing us off just a tiny bit, but we're almost there. We'll figure it out. We are almost there. Going through the box a third time, we think Larry has found the piece that will connect the puzzle, the perimeter. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Yay! It's done! The perimeter is finally done! Oh my gosh! That was easy. <laughs> oh shoot, that's awesome! All right, with that being said, it is now 4.35. I think we worked on that for, I don't know how long. I don't know, I might have told you guys how long or when we started, so. Uh, but now I need to edit our whisper challenge video for you guys to see tomorrow, and Larry's gonna go work on the garage, so we need to do that now before working anymore on the puzzle. We only missed nine pieces. Yeah, we missed nine, how? <laughs> oh my God. And it was our, what, third time through? Yeah, there. our third, third time. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna get to editing and Larry's gonna work on the garage and then we'll catch up with you after we're done and let you know what time it is then. <laughs> Hello, I've just finished editing a vlog. Oh, meows, do you want fresh water? Is that what you're asking for? Okay. Larry's scrubbing the pool. Let's get Lexi Kitty her fresh water. She loves fresh, cold, filtered water, although it's really windy out here. Hey baby, it's okay. Don't be scared, it's just the wind. Go on. She's scared. <laughs> anyway, so. Larry's gonna finish scrubbing. Windy. Oh, it's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. She looks funny because she's blowing in the wind today. What's she doing? Oh my god. <laughs> final day of leftovers this is day three so we're finishing off our spaghetti that we made the other day we have the puzzle out on the table Larry and I are actually going to eat at the bar stools which we've never done before fun guys we are gonna eat dinner together and then we're gonna watch the voice and more sons of anarchy so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we will see you again tomorrow bye, bye. all right 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 what you walking like that for show them what you're doing <laughs> shuffle stepping what are you trying to be just goofy hmm Okay, so first of all, we need to start this vlog. We'll start it already. And I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup with you guys. A lot of you have been, I keep messing that up. What you messing up for? All right, ready?